Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Finn, or yeah, another gaming fell, and I'm here to teach you some more mission editor bits. So, um, so far in our series we've covered um, placing down uh, vehicles, both air and ground, telling them to do different instructions. We've had aerial refueling, we've had bombing, both standard and carpet bombing, and we've had building a surface-to-air missile site which can uh, locate, engage, and reload its own missiles. So hopefully that's been a really great start to give you some fundamentals to start building on. Now, next, DCS has been developing on its naval options quite a lot recently. So we've got carriers, we've got uh, different destroyers, uh, the Russian have quite a wide variety of ships um, you know there's quite a lot that we have available to us in the DC DCS mission editor space so um, what I want to do next is hit ships and let's go have a look at the different ship options that we have now I've got it set to the US uh, starting at the you know the kind of the, the base we've got the um, the small armored boats we've got um, the uh, Oliver has a Perry, the Ticonderoga, and then we've got stuff like the John Stennis. Now the the CVN74 Stennis is the standard base game Stennis. You can use this for uh, aerial, uh, well, aerial launching and recovery for uh, for carriers, etc. Uh, you can use it as a runway. It will have a radio menu. It will have everything you need to reload and, and do all of that. But if you want those awesome deck crew that you've probably been seeing in all the trailers and the videos and all of this, you want to check out CVNs 1, uh, 71, 72, 73, and 75, which are the um, newer versions of the supercarriers. They have deck crew on there. It's very, very cool. Now, I'm going to show you some stuff to um, make your carriers look better because as standard they don't have anything on them. Um, we're going to show you how to get aircraft to launch and recover from it and um, we're just going to have it uh, travel around and we're going to add a few extra options in there. So to start with, um, let's start how I would normally set up your carrier, um, which this is going to be very important. Um, Let's go down here to add. We've got set options and things like that, perform task things. So let's start with set option. Um, you know, we, you can go to your rules of engagement, alarm states, uh, engage air, air weapons, interception range, etc. So, you know, a lot of that is just the options for what the ship will do when it reacts to a threat, etc. Now, if we go to perform command, now this is when we get the interesting stuff. So you can run scripts, script files, etc. If you're capable of Lua, which some of you are, I am capable of Lua. It's mainly my job in real life, so um, I think I'd be pretty worried if I didn't. Um, but that is an option. If you have some scripts you want to run on it, great. You can set it to be invisible and immortal if you like cheating. Um, don't like cheating personally, uh, so I'll pass. And we'll do the first thing we're going to do, which is activate TACAN. So TACAN allows you to broadcast the location of your vessel uh, in an encrypted format out to whatever um, TACAN um, receiver you have set up for an aircraft. So, you know, why not? Let's set this to the uh, Theo, because it's the Theodore Roosevelt. Now, you you can allow it to give the bearing, which we will. Uh, we're going to have it set to X-ray, which you use mainly for um, air bases or uh, ground TACAN stations and beacons. Uh, and then you can set it to a channel. I always like 14 because 14 is my lucky number. Um, and then you can give it a call sign as well, so we'll give it the THE for Theodore. Um, next, unit. Now we want to assign this to the unit that we're going to be giving it to, which is Naval 1-1 in this case, uh, otherwise known as Theodore Roosevelt. So if we do Theodore Roosevelt, like that. Oh. Helps spell it right, there we are, click off that, and now if you hit nothing, naval, and then click off and back on it, there we are, you can see it's set to Theodore Roosevelt, great. So now we've got TACAN set up on a beacon there, so that means that you can then find it by going onto your aircraft that you're in, setting your TACAN to be station 14 X-ray, and it will hopefully pick up the TACAN beacon and send you in that direction. Um, now there are a few other things that is unique to airfields, uh, most airfields either have them or, or don't have them and we'll show it on the map, but the thing that's unique about the ship is that you can turn it on and off and that is ICLS or something something landing system. I can't remember the first two letters, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. Um, again I, I like setting them to the same kind of channels. Um, 
but that will allow you to use ICLS on landing so it's uh, you know you basically can get uh, a nice uh, automatic setup to show you um, what kind of path you should be flying very important for the carrier mind you if you don't have ICLS you're kind of eyeballing it um, ICLS is very very useful um, for aircraft and players alike so um, so that's great that set you up with some nice basic bits for your carrier now um, let's fly through the rest because we've already gone five minutes and I'm trying to keep these short so you can do your same old standard thing and let's set them let's set this guy to travel at 27 knots in this direction so he'll now sail for nearly an hour in this direction and uh, and that's great we've got a, a ship perfectly serviceable if we're to hit uh, hit play let it go come on thankfully I've got an SSD so this game doesn't load too slowly great so now we're in and the ship is gonna get going there we are you can see the path going in front of us she starts breaking the waves heading at speed and you can see we've got the deck crew on there fantastic that looks awesome so um, so now we've we've got the carrier we've got the uh, we've got the kind of setup going on now let's make it look more aesthetic you know let's go for it let's add some more items on now let's go to the static objects here now you let's just quickly chuck down some stuff I mean it doesn't have to be anything major but static objects we can change the uh, heading of them over here um, by default is set to aircraft and deck equipment which is great um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to link unit here it's set to none at the moment we're going to set it to the Theodore Roosevelt if you set it to none it's just going to stay in place but if you set it to the Theodore Roosevelt what will happen is um, it will actually set it to be um, it, it will follow along with this ship it will stay on level with the ship it will pitch it will yaw and roll the same way that you would get a ship to do in real life you know and and this uh, you know this all these items on board will follow that to the T which is great so we'll just place down some more items in here and let's go with some aircraft as well just quickly uh, let's have a look planes here we are uh, we'll click some actual uh, carrier capable ones let's go with the the old Hornet everyone loves a Hornet um, and we'll just uh, link unit there we are and sometimes you have to reset the units like that um, I'm not doing it in any particular layout because I'm just doing it as a proof of concept here we're gonna hit fly and so now once this is loaded we have it set up with aircraft on the deck look at that that looks so cool so we've got some vehicles on there that you can see are all following along we've got the aircraft we've got the ground crew so depending on what levels you want to go with you can add loads of stuff this is great now next we want to add some uh, some aircraft that will take off from and recover uh, to the carrier now this is the last thing we're going to cover here because we're very short on time so let's pick it to be one of these uh, these Hornet's buddies here. Uh, we just place down a Hornet as we've done in the past. Go to type here. So this is where you normally select take off from ramp, etc. We're going to do take off from. Uh, let's do take off from parking hot, um, just for the sake of it. Let's give this guy loads of stuff so that he looks the mutts nuts. Let's have him fly out here, out here, then back to here, and then have him landing. So uh, let's bring him kind of further back here and hit fly let's go so that's all we have to do to set an aircraft uh, an AI aircraft to navigate out you know take off from and land on the carrier so just gonna speed up time here you'll see he's gonna uh, get himself set up with the deck crew he's gonna do that sweet sweet salute and take off and there we go and he's gone he's taking off now he's going to turn hard to the left, fly around south for quite a ways, and then after a bit he's going to uh, get himself set up and spin around, here we are, and he's going to come in and he's going to do a recovery, and here we go, so he's getting himself into the groove, into the pattern here, and uh, 
he's bringing himself down he's got this hook out he flies over there we are so this is case three I believe I don't know that much about carrier stuff I'm not one of those aficionados in DCS that knows everything I don't claim to be I won't ever claim to be uh, there are some really smart people out there I am not one of them and uh, here he comes in for his landing and we'll take it down to real time here BAM! Four wire, very nice uh, one wire even, other way around usually helps if you know what you're talking about alright well um, that is how to get an aircraft to take off from and land on a carrier how to add aircraft to the deck of the carrier to make sure that it looks awesome um, and also uh, how to get the carrier set up with ICLS and TACAN. Uh, I hope that's been really inf informative for you guys. I hope that's really useful. I hope that you have good use for a lot of this stuff in the future. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, you know, perhaps you might like and subscribe. And um, we'll hopefully see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Goodbye.